Hello everyone. Welcome to my Animal Crossing Island tour. Uh, this tour is for my island, Juniper. Uh, I started this island about a year and a half ago. Maybe a little bit more than a year and a half ago. But yeah, I didn't really have a theme going into this island. I kind of was just playing the game to, for the sake of playing it. And I've been wanting to do other islands with actual themes. And I didn't want to just delete this island without giving it a, a video on my channel at least. <laughs> so let's just get into it. <laughs> I think we should start off with looking at my map. And then you can also see the villagers I have. So, my sturdy villagers were Cherry and Antonio. And then the other villagers I got are Shuster, Freckle, Tom, Blair, Portia, Lopez, Gloria, and Muffy. Okay, so we're starting off over here by my airport. Uh, I did not make this flag. I let me find the screenshot I took of it. Here is the screenshot I took of the creator's code and the design code for this. I don't know if it's still available because I took the screenshot back in like December of 2020. <laughs> so hopefully it's still there for you. If not, sorry. <laughs> Coming out of my airport, you're met with this three-way cross-section. And if you take the path going straight up, you run into rented and services. You take a right out of re rented and services. You come over here and you have my flower island. I, this took so long because of these stupid blue and purple flowers. They were the hardest ones to get. I don't, I don't want to talk about it actually. And if we take the left path off of Rented and Services, we run into my first neighborhood. This neighborhood had Blair, Cherry, uh, and if we come down this way, we have Freckle and Muffy. If we take the path back over this way, we end up back over here in the same area. So it's kind of like one giant circle. And if we go left again, but instead of going straight, we go up. This is my little shopping area. We have Able Sisters right at the front. And then if you go back a little bit further, we have Nook Cranny. And then if you go over this way to the right, I have a little farm over here because I didn't want to use too many of the 2.0 objects because if I did, I felt like I would have redone my whole island. But I wanted to add the farm because it's just so cute. All of the farm stuff is just so cute. I love it. We'll go up to the second level in a minute. I want to come back over this way. And if we go past Sherry's house and come down here, there's a little separate area. You go to the left, this is the second neighborhood. Here we have, here we have Antonio, Tom, Portia in over here to the right, and Chester. And if we go up this ramp here, we enter the second level of my island. Uh, over here to the left, we have my moon island, like the mini moon island pond. I don't really know what to call it. If we head over to the right, we enter into the third little neighborhood area. 
down this way, I built a little fire pit area for my villagers because they love to sit over here in this area. And after I built it, no one sat over here. <laughs> Up here, I have my final two villagers. We have Lopez and we have Gloria. Hello? Oh, he just wants to buy an item. <laughs> anyway, back to the tour. <laughs> we keep going around the square and across this bridge and keep going a little bit more. <laughs> we will eventually hit my house, which none of the lights are on. Whoops, oh well. And if we keep going right to my house, we have my museum. The only exhibit in my museum that I have completely finished is the fossil uh, exhibit. But I do have a good, am a good amount of all of the other exhibits done. If we keep going right of the museum and across these little stepping stones, we will come across my campsite. If we go down this ramp back to the first level, back here, we kind of just have a little seating area with a um, little water feature on my peninsula because I had no idea how to decorate that thing. <laughs> we come down this way. We can go through here, but I want to show something first. I completely forget who I got this idea from. I think I saw it on Pinterest. Um, I created design to make it look like my villagers wrote their name in shock on this rock. And I think it is so freaking cute. I just think it looks so cute. I love it so much. Okay. If we go back up here <laughs> and take this little path. all the way down i have a little orchard um it does look cute or i guess viewed from the front but oh high flick and then if we take the path it leads back around back up to resident services thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the kind of brief overview of my island as I said in the beginning of the video, I wanted to put this dream address out for my island Juniper before I delete it so that way I can start a new island. If you're interested in following me along on that journey, you can subscribe here for more structured progress update videos or you can follow me over on my Twitch which is twitch.tv forward slash Miranda Pop TV to watch me create my island in real time and also I'll be doing videos like villager hunts and terraforming and all of that fun stuff that comes along with building an island. You can follow me on all my socials. I'll have them linked in the description down below. But it's Miranda Pop TV everywhere. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!